Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Minecraft. I'm Batman. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Mr. Zurius and welcome back to Omnicraft. You might be wondering what's going on here. What the heck am I wearing? Well, this is a custom armor that I have made for the people of my server. I have called it the Dragoon Armor. You can see a full body shot of it right there. So, in today's episode, I'm about to reveal to everyone in the server how they get this armor. How the players can also get this sweet enchanted bow that I've made. Pretty cool. And a custom elytra called the Reptilytra, which is very much like a sort of dragon wing, bat wing sort of thing. I actually feel like I'm trying to turn myself into Batman all of a sudden. Anyway, let's get all my things and reveal this to the players. Sneaky cheddar cheese behind me there, trying to get into the video. I'll cut you out. Okay, I've just told everyone of the warp that they need to go to so that they can unlock the custom items. Here they come. They're all trapped in this little obsidian box. Ah, uh, I need to destroy one of the sides here, and I can't remember which one it was. So I'm about to break this wall here and reveal to the players the secret. So let's do it and see how they react. Ah, I can't get to the sign. Haha, <laughs> you guys thought I would really tell you how to get my custom armor. <laughs> I'm not giving away my armor. Oh, that's a cool skin. <laughs> oh, they're trying to mine out. <laughs> okay, let's end the joke. Ta da! There you go everyone, here's the custom armor and here's all the names. So the way this works is people just grab their diamond armor, a bow or their elytra and rename it to what it's named here and they'll unlock it. Simple as that. Just put myself into spectator mode so I can see things better, it's a bit crowded in here. So everyone's probably writing down the names right now. So this here is the Dragoon armor. All you do is name your armor Dragoon leggings, Dra Dragoon boots. Dragoon Helmet, etc, etc, Enchanted Bow, and Reptilytra, and then you can unlock them. Okay everyone, now that we've got all the amazing fighter pits done, and we've given some custom armour out to the server. Oh, it looks like Mortal's already got some of it on. Very, very nice. A lot of people are trying to very quickly grind XP so they can get it. it takes a lot of XP to rename some stuff. But, here's what we're going to be doing for the rest of this episode. What you see here behind me is my dirt outline of the Colosseum. You may recognise the inside part here, this is the exact same shape and size as the fighters pits, this is where all of their designs will go. And we're going to build a really cool quartz Colosseum all around here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to actually build a little bit of a guideline for these guys because obviously they, they don't really know exactly what we're going to be building here, so I'm just going to build a few guidelines here so they can sort of see this as an entrance. Okay, I've put some guidelines up to let the guys know where they need to build. Hopefully that's all the information they need. So we're going to go ahead and get started and get this Colosseum looking nice and pretty. I honestly can't believe how fast this is going. We've got so much work done in such a short amount of time, I'm genuinely impressed. 
Oh, I can't wait to see when this when it's all finished and decorated. Then I can figure out where to build some sort of control room to control the stage here in the middle. And then once this is done, we can put lots of nice detail around it, make it look really, really nice. I'll build a control room somewhere, maybe floating above the arena, although that might be a bit weird. And that way I can use the command blocks to change the actual fighter's pit. And what I'm going to do as well is these two sides here, these oval areas where the fighters will be, there's going to be kits that people will have. It'll be like a hologram that they can click on and it will give them the equipment they need to be a particular class. So once this arena is finished, obviously anyone can come here and use it and fight and do whatever they like. We will definitely be holding tournaments in here. Maybe some special tournaments like fist fighting only or bows only or I don't know, maybe I'll make a custom stick that looks like a fish and people have to fight each other with it. <laughs> Who knows? Is it done? No, it can't be done. It can't be done that quickly. That, that's insane. I genuinely can't believe this is done so quickly. I need to have a fly around and look at this. What is this? I turn my back for two seconds and someone's built a blaze golem in the middle of the arena? Thank you everyone so much. So this took no time at all. Wow, it's really hard to type and say the same words at the same time. Look at all these brilliant people. Thanks guys, this was brilliant. So now we just need to actually decorate this and make it look cool and then actually make the arena workable. It's quite amazing what a community can do when they uh, uh when everyone pulls together and tries to uh, uh, Help. Please. I'll get you for this. <laughs> you cannot contain me. I am the owner. Well everyone, I think that's about does it for this episode. Thank you again to everyone who helped. We will make sure and put a special commemorative area for everyone who helped build the Colosseum. I'll probably do some work on this place off camera while we add some details and maybe fix it up a bit and probably test out some of these arenas and make sure I can actually get them in here properly. But again, thank you everyone for taking part. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked this. I hope you guys subscribe and we'll see you next time in Omicraft. Take care and have a good one.